Hey guys, this is part 7 of my video story and uh, the start of a new chapter really in, in the story as we move on to the, the proper European season. First of all, uh, I could do some, well, just keep it up to date with everything. Some of you have been asking about schedules and I was going to do it before to be honest but I thought it would take too long in the video but it probably won't. So next up we've got Etoile de Bessege. Uh, six stage race, most of them flat with the time trial at the end. Um, the team is Smith, Ivanov, Bauer, Cassidy, Varga, Hasher, Meek, and Schroeder. Um, in terms of race tactics, um, the first stage is completely flat. Second stage has an uphill sprint. Third stage is rolling, but it's flat at the end. Stage 4 is quite a tough stage actually, another slightly uphill finish. Stage 5 is short and flat, and stage 6 is a hilly time trial, quite a short time trial as well. So, not really sure what tactics we're going to use here, because I think Schroeder's a decent prologue rider, but the rest of the team are pretty average time driving. Uh, Tour of Qatar and Mallorca start on the third, so obviously all, these three, all three overlap, so we have to have 24 riders. Qatar is mostly the guys flying back from New Zealand, making their way back to Europe um, via a quick stop off in the Middle East. So we've got Bertels, Van der Valde, Bakker, Jurikas, and Deepavine, who are who are all in New Zealand. Decent shape. I mean, peak in some of them. Uh, the team time trial will be very important. So these guys are all pretty solid time trialists. And then making their debuts, you've got Waldo van Maxfield. Matty Gombok and Tyler Gibson are all warming up for various classics to come. Um, Gombok is obviously a, a top sprinter, so it will depend whether we're working for him or Jerry Cast, but we'll get to that when we get to Qatar. Then Mallorca is a team pretty much full of climbers, seven climbers. We've got uh, Douglas, Goodlock, and St. Ledger, with the other three that were in New Zealand. Um, they'll carry on here. Uh, and the other five are all making their debuts. We've got Muyagic, Gochnauer, Rakovec, and Bakili all making their debuts, all climbers. Uh, only one of them needs to do well. So we'll just keep attacking until one attack sticks because there'll be some top climbers there that we won't be able to go with, but one of them has got to go um, and do well. And then the other rider is Stephen Kelly, who is a sprinter. Um, he'll be on his own, obviously, on the first two stages, which are flat. Uh, but you know, hopefully, he can do something. The, the only it was basically between him and Gombot, who would do Qatar, who would do Mallorca. There's no real reason why Kelly's doing Mallorca and not Qatar, but we needed a sprinter there for the first two stages. Then uh, uh, we've got a week off until the Tour de Haute-Var in France. Again, it's a hilly race. Both the stages are tough. Plenty of hills in them, so. To be one for the punchy climbers. We've got Gochnauer, Mujagic, Rakovec, Cassidy, um, Varga, Schroeder, and then Rodriguez and Ntanga make their debuts here. Um, Rodriguez is a climber and Ntanga is a puncher. He's preparing for the uh, Tour of South Africa, which is obviously his home race. That will be Mike Smith, Samuel Bakili, all, all the three Africans that we've got are doing this race, obviously. Uh, Tim Bow will be the sprinter and should get some pretty good results. There's quite a few hills in this race, but they end flat most of the stages. So Smith, Bikili, Bauer, Rodriguez, and Natanga. And then making their debuts, you've got Yamada, Kumano, and Fisher. I'll we'll start in there. I mean, fitness is going to be a difficult issue, but by then, some of these guys will be a lot fitter, so it should be fine. And then the other race in February is the Bever Beat Classic. Our first sort of flat one day classic. Uh, we've got all of our classics team here Van der Valde, Deepathine, Ivanov, Van Maxfield, Kelly, Varga, Gombok, and Gibson. So, yeah, I mean, a lot of these guys are, are classic specialists. So, even though there's no cobbles in this race, it's good practice. They'll probably be quite, it'll probably be quite windy, maybe some rain as well. So. And then the only other race we have in February is right at the end, which is the, the South African Time Trial Championships, which obviously will be 
Uh, no Tanga, he can't time trial though, so he will be going for the road race, but the time trial is not really his thing. So, next up is Bersage, first stage, flat, um, probably won't be too much to say. Um, oh, one more thing, as I'm recording this, I'm still waiting for stat upgrades. Um, there's no rush, really. Bauer's one of them, he's the only one that's racing in this race. So. But obviously, for the three that have up, have points to spend the longer you wait um so the longer you take to reply obviously the, the longer it'll take for your rider to to get better um there's no time limit it doesn't really matter if bowers still not improved until you know march but um yeah, there's no rush uh if if you still haven't assigned the point after like a month of game time so by the time i get to the end of february then I'll probably send you a, a PM, a final final message in PM or something. Um, and then, yeah, uh, fine. So it's it's Bauer, in Jury Cass, and Douglas. But by the time I've uploaded this, you've probably you've probably already done it, so it doesn't matter. So <laughs> ignore what I said. Yeah, um, that's that. Um, I'll come back. And we're in this this first stage of Bessege, which, as I say, I mean, it's completely flat. It's a sprinter's race, really, but the time trial at the end does mean that you're going to have to be able to time trial to win the overall. Uh, 157 kilometers, so nothing particularly long. Uh, it's quite a short time trial, so the prologue will be the relevant stat. I think Schroeder is the only one that's going to have a chance of hanging on in the time trial. But he's not a sprinter. Um, even odds okay, but better in long time trials. I think it's going to be difficult for us to win the GC. We'll just go for stage wins. Um, and maybe, maybe some late attacks might work. You never know. People like uh, Ivanov and Cassidy. Pretty good uh, attacking, so we'll give that a go. So yeah, I'll come back in the race. So we've got six kilometers to go. Um, Nothing's happened in the stage at all. We didn't put anyone in the break because it never really stood a chance today. Um, I lead out wise, uh, Cassidy is doing well, but I think because of the wind, which is very strong and it's a headwind, I think he's kind of killing everyone. But um, at the moment, we're working for Bauer because uh, Hash has been struggling with what tiny hills there's been. Um, so I don't know. Even of is some distance from Cassidy here, which is interesting. Uh, Cassidy's just riding away from everyone. I don't really know. Even of is just blocked by Martinez. He won't let him through. At the moment, I am have the best lead out by some way. I'm really not sure what's going on here. Come on, get through. Oh, there's been a split. There's been a split in the peloton here. Oh, it's a big one. These guys are not getting back. Smith's in here for us. But, yeah, these guys aren't getting back. Uzoft's in here. Quite a few riders have been caught out here. These are not getting back. So, 76 riders in the front group because of the wind, you see. Uh, my sprinters are just completely blocked. It's just going to be, well, battling for whatever position you can get, really. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Follow Finney. Go on, he'll get us to the front. Even off, he's a beast. Look at him. Absolute beast. Right, here we go. So... Varga, it's time to go. Go, go through that big gap. Cassidy's in a great place here, shame he can't sprint. Varga's not really... Now he's starting to go. Now he's starting to move. Henderson's coming up the outside. Hashi needs to get through that gap. Oh, he didn't get through the gap. Even of 
Varg is just charging past everyone here. I don't know if Hash is going to be able to get into a good place here. Whoa, look at him. Jules is just gone. Shot out of a cannon. Bauer's going to have to go here, I think. Where's Schroeder? What we have? Schroeder, Meek, Sprint, just in case there's any more splits. So, Bauer's going, Varga's going, Hash is going, Cassidy's pretty much done. So is Varga, actually. Jules, is he going to be caught? Still one corner to go. Who's this? Buckman's is coming quick, but who knows? Bauer's still got plenty of red bar left. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Bauer's obviously in the uh, the leader, the Europe tour leader, leaders, bleh, leaders jersey. It's gonna be oh, Bauer's coming close. Look at this guy, Kohler, seventy-one sprint. He is a beast. What the hell? What is going on here? So Jules is just going to hang on. That was one heck of a sprint for him. He was going for like two and a half kilometers in his run. So Jules wins. Ahead of Cola, but Buckman's Bauer just misses out on a top three. Mainly because Hashir got blocked there. That was pretty much the only reason there. I mean, look at the guys he's beaten. Don't be well. Van Hummel, Greg Henderson, Kiki. So Bauer gets four. Hasha gets ninth. No, eighth, even. Varga's up there as well. This is Cassidy, Ivanov, Meek, Schroeder. And obviously a big split here. These guys are well out of it. I think their GC chances have gone already. After, after one flat stage. There's the back of the Peloton. That's, that's definitely a split, so... Yeah, I'll come back uh, in the results screen. Show you, show you if there's anybody. Um, what, show you what big riders have lost time in here. So, the results here. Uh, Fabian Baquet of Big Matt crashed. Uh, he's out. The guys that lost time. Uh, Ravar, he's a, a decent sprinter. Um, it's difficult to see, you know, because in a race like this, time tries to be most. Sal lost some time. Um, Anders Lunt, uh, Samuel Dumula, Kinsey Arto, Ertesen, Carpets, uh, Uzov was in here somewhere, of course, so Ventoso, what's that? There's Mike Smith, uh, Jose Harada, Riblon, stuff Riblon. Montaguti, Kump, Oss. There's Uzoft. Decourt, Favilli, Rojas. Tons and tons of riders. Sebastian Chavanel. All of them. Zeberg, Kadri. Gonna struggle now to get back into the GC. I mean, Beal was a good time trout as well. So, two and a half minutes is a long way off to make up in four flat stages. Um, so, yeah. so Bauer's 4th on GC, Hash is 8th, Varga's 13th. Bauer will have to swap his Europe Tour leader's jersey for a white one. He's best young rider. Um, so yeah, next stage is again flat with an uphill finish, so Bauer sort of thing again. So I'll be back for stage 2. So next up, uh, stage 2, which is um, a lot harder than the first stage, but it's still not exactly hard. Uh, a few Climbs near the start. That looks like quite a long, hard one. But <laughs> it's mainly this final climb, which is really short. But obviously, it finishes up it. So it's a bit all all the sort of punchy riders will be up there trying to trying to first over the line. That means Bauer is our best shot today, or maybe Varga. Actually, Varga is slightly better in the hills, um, but I don't think it's really hard enough. I think it will still be the sprinters. So we've just got to make sure we keep Varga and Bauer both up there, and Schroeder as well, possibly because he's a good punching. So, yeah, um, I will come back um, probably at the end. So we've we've come at five kilometres to go. We've just kind of we're just coming up to the final climb. Um, it's been a long, hard day. Really, really hard. Meat cut into the breakaway. 
um, did okay, but didn't uh, didn't win both the Mountain Sprints. He won the first one, um, which is pretty good. But uh, he was destroyed on the second one. He's got nothing left. He'll be dropped in a second. Uh, Bow has been looking really strong today, um, and this final climb is is actually harder than I thought it was. So it's, it's gonna have to we'll have to see how it goes. Um, Schroeder's doing the work at the moment, getting getting us up alongside. So let's see. Uh, Meek has now been dropped, but then again, so have 58 others. Let's have a look where the split is. Okay, they might catch back up. It's quite a big split. Smith and Cassidy are absolutely knackered as well. Both been doing a lot of work for their leaders. Even I can't sprint here. We're getting found out. Hmm, we're not even on the climb yet. Come on, even off. Come on. Right, that's better. Now we're getting somewhere. Onto the climb now. Just go, just go, everyone. Come on. There's a gap. There's got to be a gap there. But Bowers got through, Vargas blocked. Who's at the front? It's Dumoulin. Wow, Finney. He's powering through. Is it going to be Vestra? That shows how hard the climb is. Vestra is going to get the win. Ahead of Finney and Bauer. Yes. Bauer takes a magnificent third. Varga gets fifth. And then uh, Ivanov, Schroeder, Pasha. And the rest of our guys have unfortunately been dropped, I think. But it has been a really hard stage. So Bauer again up there, gains a bit, gains a few seconds, but not enough to take the to get right up there. Uh, he'll keep the white jersey, I think, there. Unless no, Finney will take that off, it won't you? I'm not sure. I'll, I'll come back on the results screen and we'll find out. So yeah, the bad news is Finney is in the white jersey now. But the good news is Bauer was actually in the points jersey because he was the only one that was up there today and, and yesterday. Five points out of Jules, Finney, and Vestra. So you know, maybe maybe Bauer can hang on to that, but who knows? Young rider, Finney leads. He'll win that. Obviously, you can time trial or Mallory. But what I'm trying to say is we haven't got a chance of winning that. Um, so Mountains jersey, Meek is in sixth, but. Five points off, but you know his GC chances have gone now. So I might as well just keep putting him in the breakaway. He got, he finished quite a way down today. He was four, I think four forty-five. Is this his group? No, four fourteen. No, that's Mike Smith. Where the hell's Meek? Uh, no one knows. He's hiding somewhere. Meek was definitely behind Smith. Strange. I don't see him. Oh my god, he's up there. What? Oh, of course, Smith lost time yesterday, didn't he? Silly. So yeah, Meek's at 2.20. Um, so his GC chances have gone, so he might as well. Not that he ever had a GC chance, but he might as well go in the breakaway try and get the climbs chosen. All in all, another good day. Bauer's doing really well so far. Uh, the next stage, obviously, is flat. Surprise, surprise. Uh, but this one is a flat finish, so... Again, yeah, we'll see whether Hash, Hash is in better shape tomorrow. But I think his low resistance stat is really, really costing him, to be honest. So, yeah. That'll be in the next video. Stage 3. Um, so thanks for watching, and join me next time.